Hey guys, Rochelle here with Amethyst Ascension. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for joining me again. Happy New Year, by the way. So today I am going to be doing a year ahead spread. And I seen this for the first time over on Lisa Pepez's channel. And I have talked about this before, um, how I had decided to stop doing year ahead spreads because I am like my own worst enemy. I don't know how to leave things alone. It's probably my Virgo moon, right? <laughs> I need to pick everything apart. Um, and sometimes that's not good for my overactive mind. Um, and my worry, my worry wart side. So anyways, when I seen this video that she made, Lisa that is, I thought, oh my gosh, this is brilliant. So I had decided I want to do this because I loved doing the year head spread. I love the whole ritual part of it. I love the whole, you know, just like, um, just the whole ambiance of doing it. It's just, it wasn't good for me and my personality type. However, because, you know, I like to obsess on things. So I decided this way is better because, as you can see here, if you haven't seen her video, and I will put a link down below, it's brilliant. But I have, just like she did, I have created envelopes that I am going to be putting my cards in. I'm not going to look at my cards. I'm going to be putting them in for each month and then sealing them. And just to show you how much I love all this stuff, <laughs> when she showed the video, I was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. <laughs> because I have everything I possibly could need. And who doesn't? want to you know utilize all of their witchy supplies right <laughs> so i have this box that i created i did a video about this or maybe i didn't gosh i don't remember but this is the video or this is the box i just bought a regular unpainted box um with nothing on it i bought all of the hardware to put feet on it and so it doesn't scratch i put felt on the feet so it doesn't scratch anything when I put them on the surfaces. I put metal in the corners and then the hinge. I put the hinge on, I painted it, and then I put like a, a coating over it. But this is where I actually house all of my envelopes and like cards right so I love being able to dig in there and use it so I have this and this is where I keep the stuff specially let me put it back down underneath my desk here and then I also have like these books that look really cool in my room you see my witchy room right well it just so happens that I use them for housing things like like my um like waxing stuff see I have another one here this one's a little bit bigger and this one houses I have oops I don't want to burn anything <laughs> I've got a couple of different spoons here which I'll probably be using this one because I have to clean the purple out of that one. And I have, oh, what colors do I want to use? I'm thinking I want to use like um, these reds. Maybe, yeah, reds. Maybe a combination of the reds deep reds and the pinks, hot pinks. And in the kits that I got, I also got like markers that once you, um, you know, put the wax sealer down, you can also emphasize what's on the actual stamp with either gold or silver. So we'll see at the time 
but that's what I keep in these boxes. So let me get it all set up and I'll see you back in a second. I also wanted to show you just really quick. I have different ones. I've got the um, Tree of Life. I've got the Flower of Life. I've got the Sun. Oh, I like that one. And I've got, let's see. Oh, I can't even cut this. Like a castle. I don't know. It's pretty cool. And then I've got that, which is kind of neat. And, and I think I'm going to use this one. Yeah, that's what I'm going to use. So another thing that I want to mention, and I'm not sure if I did already, I might have, is I made recently a Great Year Loose Incense, and I am using that along with um, this reading. But I'm also going to be doing... Yes, isn't that fabulous? Love this. So, I've also got a saying here that I'm going to say before I get started on this, drawing my cards, and it is something to end out 2023 and bring 2024 in with the right energy, and that is, I call back my power and energy from all corners people, places, and situations that have been draining, siphoning, or stealing from me, consciously or subconsciously, intentionally or unintentionally, from all realms, worlds, and directions of time. I am safe, sovereign, and protected. So shall it be. So mote it be. So, now I'm going to show you, let me put that away, I'm going to show you the actual decks that I'm going to be working with. The first one I'm going to be working with is the Ritual Tarot. Now, if you end up doing something like this, keep in mind that it is going to be a deck that you can't really use because you're taking the cards out for the whole month or for the whole year. It's not really something that you can use other than in this practice. And this is like a ritual. So I thought the ritual tarot is perfect. So I'm going to be using the ritual tarot. I am also going to be using Colette Baron Reed's Postcards from Spirit. And this is something that looks just like a postcard. I'm going to draw this one of these for each month. And I think that they're absolutely wonderful. So like here's one for you. Dearest you, a rigid tree branch breaks under strong winds, yet flexible. Seaweed survives powerful ocean swells. Right now, we gently remind you that being flexible is a good choice when faced with life's challenges. Surrender your fixed ideas to spirit who knows what is in your highest good and can deliver to you what you need in the appropriate form. So you get the meaning. And then it ends with, we love you so much. So it's like an actual message or postcard from your spirit, your higher self, the spirit um, in general of like the universe or source, whatever. However you term that. So I'm going to be doing one of those each month. I'm also going to be drawing from the essential oils or essential oils healing deck. And this is a wonderful deck.
for getting more information or looking into different kinds of essential oils and, and or herbs or whatever. And I think it's just a wonderful and beautiful deck to use. I have another one that I was thinking of using, but I decided to do this one because I really love that it's got beautiful images in it. And so what I'm going to do is draw one of these each month and use the guidance to maybe look at a new, obtaining a new um, essential, or if I already have it maybe incorporating that somehow into some of my magic for that month. So, like for instance, Siberian fur relieves and revitalizes. So if I were to find it here, let's see, 102. And I should have my glasses, but <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> With the ability to grow up to 200 feet tall, this spectacular evergreen tree can withstand sub-Arctic temperatures native to Canada and Russia. And it goes on more and more and more, but it tells you about uses for anxiety, arthritis, autoimmune conditions, body odor, brain fog, broken bones, uses also gout, hemorrhoids. I mean, if you look there, uh, just a whole long list. So maybe in that month, if I were to draw that, maybe I'm dealing with something like this. You know, one of these ailments, and this can help me. Maybe it's just like a nudge from the universe in order to help me. And that's what I'm thinking. So I'm going to be using this particular deck each month. And then I'm going to be using two more decks. The Magic and Mediums Oracle by um, Anyel Reed. Because I'm thinking that this can be a great deck to use as like asking spirit or my higher self maybe what kind of magic I should incorporate into my practice that month. So... I would just draw one. <laughs> so astrology, right? So maybe this month I should be focusing more on astrology or using it in something that I do magically in that month. So I'm going to be using the Magic and Mediums Oracle. And the last one that I'm going to use is the Red Seeds Oracle uh, Red Seeds 2 Oracle, and I have all three of the Red Seeds Oracles. However, I decided to use the second one. It just, like, called to me, because all three of them are just, like, if I put them all together, it's just massive. I mean, I might do that, but it's just massive. So, anyways, I thought I can draw these as something I want to really um, embark on is more goddess, inner goddess work. And so focusing on one of these cards, drawing one card each month, that I can really help to maybe empower another part of my inner femininity, you know, my inner goddess. So like for instance, let's just draw one. This one's sticking out, so what is this? I am delusion. Okay. My ways are quiet. None may find. My temper of malignant kind. For one should check the words that start when anger spreads within the heart. And that's Sappho. These are all like um, quotes from Sappho. And then we've got eight. Or Ati. Ati was the Greek goddess of mischief, folly, ruin, and delusions. Luckily for Ati, she had sisters who followed her around cleaning up after her mayhem. She personifies the trouble and consequences that can stem from such behavior. So, and I'm not going to go out and read more, but maybe I'm going to have a challenge with my own ego that month or my own 
uh, <laughs> nefarious intentions. Who knows? You know, but something that I can focus on for, I'll oh, see, the gift of authenticity and the challenges, false beliefs. So something that I can really look forward to um, focusing on in that month as well. So this is a little bit different than like, you know, what are the current energies? These are just things that I should be looking at either within myself or incorporating into my magic or incorporating into some kind of healing as in like the essential oils, you know, something to research a little bit, a little message, a loving uh, message from spirit as by way of the postcards from spirit and then a overall message from the ritual tarot which just seems appropriate so i'm going to get started i'm going to just record this regular but i'm going to see if i can speed it up i might cut out some of them but just so you can see my process a little bit okay So, I needed more. I'm going to use three um, of these for each one. And I just used like a letter opener because I have a few of them um, that I've kept out for using with um, the wax melts and then when I'm done it's I mean it's wax it's easy just to peel it right off and clean it off and put it back in your kit
Okay, so I have gotten the last one done. And I added like one more because I was starting to run low of these. So I got, um, I added one of those, one of those, and one of those towards the end. It would have looked really good in the black too, but I just didn't have enough. It would have looked good in anything really, but. Now I'm just gonna take the marker, this marker, to like all of the stars. But essentially, I might make a ritual out of opening each one. Okay, so very cool. I completed them all, and I will be opening them each month. I'm not sure what day I'm going to do it each month, but I'll probably set up a special time. I did put them each in a blank card so that I can do some reflections on, you know, what I ended up getting. I might take a picture and put it on the card. Not sure. Or just, well, I'll probably journal it, honestly. Take a picture of it and, and then put it in my journal. But Didn't they turn out so cool? I am so excited about this. Instead of dreading, <laughs> you know, what is to come, I can open it up at the beginning of the month or the middle of the month or even at the end of the month to reflect on it if I wanted to, to see how, you know, these particular cards could have been used in my month. But I probably will do it towards the beginning of the month just because of the different kinds of cards that I drew besides just the tarot. So thank you for spending this time with me. Um, have you done your Wheel of the Year and uh, or your um, year ahead? Do you do that? What kind of um, year ahead do you do? So thank you for spending this time with me. Thank you, Lisa, for this brilliant idea. I am going to be putting a link down below to Lisa's uh, particular original video on this. And I think she had said she got this idea or something similar from somebody else. So I encourage you to watch that whole video. Um, but thank you for spending this time with me. Happy New Year. And I am sending you love always.